Creatine is one of the most researched supplements in human performance science. Now, you may have already heard about the benefits of creatine for sports performance, but let's talk about the lesser known benefits it has for cognition as well as healthy aging. Much of the recent research has shifted focus from the gym to the brain, with multiple studies now showing that creatine plays a critical role in neuronal energy metabolism, especially under conditions of stress, fatigue, or oxygen deprivation. A 2023 nutrition review meta-analysis found that older adults who supplemented with creatine had a significant improvement in memory and reasoning, particularly when cognitively fatigued. Other trials have shown benefits for mental performance under chronic sleep deprivation, vegetarian diet, and even hypoxia. Creatine helps the brain maintain ATP levels when glucose and oxygen supply are limited, like during long periods of mental work or high levels of stress. In simple terms, your brain burns through energy faster than any organ, and creatine and helps keep that energy steady. Here's where it gets really interesting. While three to five grams per day is enough to saturate muscle tissue, studies on cognitive performance often use larger doses between 15 and 20 grams per day divided across into three to four doses. Why? Well, because the brain's uptake of creatine is slower and less efficient than muscle tissue. And higher sustained doses helps increase the brain's phosphocreatine stores to levels shown to improve mental energy and reduce fatigue. For example, one study found that five grams a day for six weeks improved memory and intelligence scores in healthy young adults. Another found using 20 grams a day for seven days improved working memory and reaction time, especially under sleep deprivation. And another study noted that daily doses between 15 and 20 grams may be needed to elevate brain creatine levels sufficiently for measurable cognitive benefit. So if you're targeting mental performance or neuroprotection, evidence suggests that a temporary higher dose loading phase of 15 to 20 grams for about one to two weeks may be optimal, followed by a maintenance dose of between three and five grams. Importantly, these studies reported no adverse effects in healthy individuals, though people with kidney conditions should always consult their physicians first. Metaphorically, muscle saturation is like filling a small water tank. The brain's tank is larger and harder to reach, so it simply takes more water and time to fill it. Now, let's look at some practical guidelines for how to actually take creatine. For general strength and recovery, as I already mentioned, three to five grams of creatine monohydrate consistently is absolutely fine. You may also decide to do a loading phase of around 20 grams a day spread out into three to four doses for five to seven days to saturate the muscles faster, but this is completely optional and the advantages are questionable. For cognitive benefits, up to 20 grams daily split into four equal doses with meals for one to two weeks, followed by a three to five gram dose for daily maintenance. This appears to be the sweet spot for optimal brain power. Now let's look at timing. When it comes to creatine, timing doesn't matter all that much. Don't overthink it. What really matters is the daily consistency. One thing you're gonna really wanna make sure you are on top of is your hydration. This is super important. Creatine doesn't cause dehydration like many people believe. You just need to ensure that you are fully hydrated to get the most out of it. And finally, as I've already alluded to, the best form of creatine is creatine monohydrate. It's by far the most researched and bioavailable. Now. There are many myths and misconceptions floating about with regards to creatine, so let's dispel the most common. Myth number one, creatine damages the kidneys. Long-term studies, even using 20 grams daily, show no kidney damage in healthy individuals. Creatinine levels may rise slightly because of creatine metabolism, but not because of renal stress. Myth number two, it causes bloating or water retention. Creatine pulls water into muscle cells, improving hydration and protein synthesis, not bloating and fluid under the skin. Myth number three is only for bodybuilders. Evidence supports benefits in older adults, vegetarians, and anyone under cognitive or physical fatigue. Myth number four, you must cycle creatine. False, continuous use is safe and effective. There's no need to cycle on and off. And myth number five, creatine means you're not natty. Yes, some people actually believe that creatine is some kind of steroid substrate, and if you use it, you're no longer natural. Let's be clear, creatine supplementation is the same as taking any other supplement. You are just increasing an energy substrate that the body already has. Now, who should and shouldn't use creatine? Well, the truth is most healthy adults benefit from creatine. It's especially useful for athletes and regular exercisers, vegetarians and vegans as they have lower baseline levels due to the lack of it in their diet, students, professionals or shift workers under high cognitive demand, and older adults looking to preserve muscle and cognitive function. In short, most people could and probably should be taking it. However, avoid 
avoid or seek medical supervision if you have chronic kidney issues, liver disease, or are pregnant or breastfeeding. And of course, always choose third-party tested creatine monohydrate for purity and consistency. So listen, if you've ever felt mentally drained, slow to recover, or like your workouts just don't stick, it might not be lack of willpower. Your body and brain might simply be low on one of their key energy regulators. Creatine isn't a stimulant or a shortcut. It's a scientifically validated way to improve how efficiently your cells use energy. I personally use five to 10 grams of creatine every single day. And recently, when I had a two month break from taking it purely because I forgot to order some more, I noticed a significant reduction in cognitive resilience and overall energy. And when adding it back in, I noticed an almost immediate improvement. To conclude, creatine is one of the most rigorously studied and safest supplements known. It enhances strength, recovery, cognitive function, and healthy aging. This is not hype as is the case with many supplements. This is undisputable facts. It's not a performance hack. It's nutritional support for your cells. Few supplements have this much data behind them and even fewer benefit both brain and body in the same way. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content and found it valuable, please hit subscribe and leave a comment. And if you follow on to the next video where we'll be looking into the number one health problem men ignore until it's too late. See you there.